Alright, if you want to learn how to double kickflip, then you came to the right place. Uh, first things first, you need to know how to kickflip before you can double kickflip. If you can't kickflip, this video isn't for you. First go learn how to kickflip and then come back. Like with most skateboard tricks, one of the most important aspects is foot placement. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the difference between the foot placement for a kickflip and a double kickflip. I set up for a kickflip uh, like this. Yours might be a little bit different, but most people's kickflips should be somewhere in the neighborhood of this foot placement. Double kickflips, on the other hand, I set up for like this. Front foot's a little pointier, a little further back, and the back foot is a little bit further towards the heel side uh, of my board. So this is a kickflip. This is a double kickflip. Kickflip and double kickflip know the difference. Apart from foot placement, the two big differences between kickflips and double kickflips are how hard you flick and how, how long you hold your knees up while you're doing the trick. So it probably goes without saying, but I'll say it anyways. When you do a double kickflip, you have to flick a lot harder and faster. Your foot's going to flick more out to the side than it does with a regular kickflip. Just make sure you're not flicking down. Uh, and just flick that thing as hard as you can and it should flip twice. The second one, and this is the one that throws more people off, is that with double kick flips, you have to keep your knees sucked up into the air for a longer period of time than you do for kick flips. Um, you will be falling towards the board and towards the ground while your knees are still bent. And this can be a scary feeling, but if you want to be able to double kick flip, it's just something you've got to overcome. Some common issues with double flips, uh, one of them is not flicking your board forward enough so that your body ends up going past your board and you're not landing on it. Uh, a fix for this is to just do your best to sort of push the board forward with your flick. Another obvious one is just not flicking hard enough or not holding your knees up in the air long enough. Another one that can be caused by trying to hold your knees up in the air for a longer time is leaning too far back on your landing. A good fix for this is to try and weight your shoulders more evenly in the air. That about covers it for double kick flips. Uh, if you have any questions that I didn't address in the video, feel free to drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. As with any trick, you're just going to have to get outside and practice uh, and go through a bit of trial and error before you're able to do it.